Good morning, how are you? How are you? How are you? Good morning, how are you? It's time to sing and play. Good morning, friends. It's Miss Amy from the Fulton Public Library. And we get to have another story time together today. Today we're going to talk about opposites. Do you know what an opposite is? When two things are completely different. And we're going to think about that. But last week we talked about spring. And I asked you guys to look outside and see if you could find things that reminded you of spring. Do you know what I saw this week? I saw a little baby bunny in my yard. And that made me think about you because last week we sang a bunny song and I heard some of you really liked it. So hop up, here we go, sing along. One little, two little, three little bunnies, four little, five, six little bunnies, seven little, eight little, nine little bunnies, 10 little bunnies in a row. Are you ready? And they hopped and they hopped and they hopped all over, hopped and they hopped, hopped all over, hopped and they hopped, hopped all over, ten little bunnies in a row. Let's try it really slowly. And they hopped and they hopped, hopped all over, hopped and they hopped, hopped all over. Hopped and they hopped, hopped all over, ten little bunnies in a row. How about fast? And they hopped and they hopped, hopped all over, hopped and they hopped, hopped all over, hopped and they hopped, hopped all over, ten little bunnies in a row. Good job. Have a seat. Now, I have another bunny song for you. If you like that one, I think you're going to like this one. And you can make some bunny ears like this. And this song goes like this. I'm a little bunny with a cotton tail. See me hopping down the trail. When I see a carrot, my ears will shake. And then, of course, a bite I'll take. Crunch. Now. If you want to, you can do the motions like this. I'm a little bunny with a cotton tail. See me hopping down the trail. When I see a carrot, my ears will shake. And then, of course, a bite I'll take. Crunch! So try it. Try it with me one more time. Here we go. I'm a little bunny with a cotton tail. See me hopping down the trail. When I see a carrot, my ears will shake. And then, of course, a bite I'll take. Crunch. Maybe you've been looking for some signs of spring. Well, I have kind of a fun activity you can do. Do you know what these are? These are from toilet paper. They're just tubes from the middle, right? So if you find some of these at your house, or wait until they show up, you can make this craft. So you're going to take two of these tubes and some tape. Then you're going to tape them together like this. Can you guess what I'm making? I'm making some binoculars. Do you know what binoculars are? They help you to look for something special. So maybe while you're looking around your house, you might be able to look for some opposites. Let's think of what is an opposite. Maybe like big and small. Maybe when you look around, you might see something loud something quiet. I want you to go on a treasure hunt as soon as we're done here and see if you can find some opposites at your house. I want to share a story with you about opposites. And this story is one of my favorite scholastic books. It's called Pop in the Jungle. 
It was written by Bob Daly and Richard Ferguson. Are you ready to spot some opposites? What do you see here? Do you see tall and small? Hmm, tall and small are opposites. What is tall? Yeah, the giraffe. What is small in my picture? A monkey. Yeah, so giraffes are the tallest land animal. They have legs that are six feet long and feet that are the size of a dinner plate. But there are 264 known species of monkeys in the world. Wow, monkeys are small. Loud and quiet. The roar of a lion is very loud. It can be heard up to five miles away. Quiet. A mouse squeaks so high pitched that humans can't hear them. Mm. Are you ready for another one? Open and closed. Wow, snap, a crocodile has the strongest bite of all the animals in the world, but a butterfly closes its wings when it flies. In and out, the tortoise can live for a very long time. Some of them live for more than a hundred years. And what does the tortoise do? His head, do you see it? It goes in and out. I love pop-up books, aren't they fun? Heavy and light, that's an opposite. Elephants never stop growing. A male elephant can weigh as much as a school bus but birds have extremely light bones to help them with their flight. Did you know that? Spots and stripes. Here we have a bird with spots on its tail, but stripes, each zebra has its own unique pattern of black and white stripes. Did you see some opposites? Can you say them with me? Let's review, ready? Tall and small. Loud and quiet. Open and close. In and out. Heavy and light. Spots and stripes. Do you know sometimes we have feelings that are opposite? Sometimes we feel happy and sometimes we feel sad. Those are kind of like opposites. Well, one of my favorite stories I used to read to my children was this one. It's called Quick as a Cricket. It was one of our favorites. I hope you'll enjoy it. It is written by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Don Wood. Are you ready? It's called Quick as a Cricket. I'm as quick as a cricket. I'm as slow as a snail. I'm as small as an ant. I'm as large as a whale. I'm as sad as a basset. I'm as happy as a lark. I'm as nice as a bunny. I'm as mean as a shark. I'm as cold as a toad. 
I'm as hot as a fox. I'm as weak as a kitten. I'm as strong as an ox. I'm as loud as a lion. I'm as quiet as a clam. Shh. I'm as tough as a rhino. I'm as gentle as a lamb. I'm as brave as a tiger. I'm as shy as a shrimp. I'm as tame as a poodle. I'm as wild as a chimp. I'm as lazy as a lizard. I'm as busy as a bee. Put it all together and you've got me. You know, friends, we have a lot of different feelings that we have. And it's great to talk to your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa about your feelings because all your feelings are important ones and it's okay. So I hope when you think about this book and you think about our time together, that you will remember that we have lots of feelings and sometimes they're opposites. We're gonna end with one more song today. It's one of my favorites. And maybe you know it, or maybe it's new. It goes like this. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout, oh yes I am. I don't care what the people say, I'm gonna sing it anyway. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout, yes I am. Can you clap your hands or tap your knees and sing along? Here we go. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout, oh yes I am. I don't care what the people say, I'm gonna sing it anyway. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout, yes I am. Last time, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout, yes I am. I don't care what the people say, I'm gonna sing it anyway. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout, Yes, I am. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time. Have a great week.